Greetings everyone, this is the Gardening Snail of Livingston, California, and today we are going to talk about the future ARCO AMPM project that is planned for the corner of Hammett and Campbell. This project was discussed at the August 13th Planning Commission meeting. According to the staff report, there would be a convenience store, quick service restaurant, automated car wash, and a standalone full-service restaurant. There would be 10 pumps for fueling passenger vehicles and light-duty trucks. There would also be a two-bay diesel fueling station for heavy-duty trucks. What was not included in the plan design was spaces for semi-truck parking. During the discussion, a question was asked about including semi-truck parking for those who wanted to do more than just fuel up and head out. This is how that conversation went the first time around. project manager was adamant about no truck parking at the AMPM. It was also clear the Planning Commission was concerned about semi-truck parking and was not too keen on approving the project without accommodations for truckers who just might want to do more than fill up, pay up, and head out. Here's some more about how that conversation went. And then we need a motion to approve the site plan and design review 2018 03. Entertain a motion for that one? I'll move that one to approve the presentation for the site plan for the site plan. Can you repeat that one again? For the parking for the semi truck? As long as we add that one, I'll put a motion to approve. saying not allowing the city to semi trucks to park on the streets? Yeah. Because they park down by Foster Farms on that dirt area now, and that's not the least. So, well, where are we? The police department allows you to park on the north side of, of Campbell, uh, west of Stephanie, but not on the south side. So it is enforced on the south side, it's just not enforced on the north side. At this location right here with Campbell and Hampton, so I'm just imagining somebody getting the turning lane and somebody's parked on the side of the road and going to hold the crowd. Can we add that, Randy, or sure. you, you can add, add the uh, uh, 
prohibition for street parking adjacent to this use, yes. Well, that would be up to the city signage, too, if they put no truck parking there. It's time to be up here with the truck parking and the bus stop area. We had it right. They have the signage up to Campbell and East. From Campbell to East? To so, yeah, East Avenue. But they don't have it from East Avenue to um, Hammond. Because there's, there's no business there, so usually nobody parks there. Nobody parks there. Mm -hmm. And clearly it's the intent of the city not to have truck parking. Uh, on the south side of adjacent to the disuse. So uh, no problems with uh, making that explicit. Is that what you think the commissioner came with was the south side of what Randy just described? Honestly, I was hoping that they would put at least, I want to say four, four parking spots. Um, I guess if you look at a map where on the top left corner, where it has seven and eighteen. Is there any way to convert those four last stalls into semi truck parking stalls or RV parking stalls on this map? We can um, put that as a uh, as a condition for the city to look at those, and we could meet with the um, project proponents and the city engineer to see if there is a possibility of that. That'd be acceptable to the applicant. To look at it, yes. Yeah, let's take a look at it. I mean, <coughs> until the engineers um, put pen to paper, so to speak, we uh, uh, can't uh, specifically uh, come into that. We have to make sure there's the turning radiuses and so on. But we can certainly um, have a condition that Okay. Yes, sir. That is. It is. Yes. So we have a motion. We have a second for How do we have the two conditions? The two, okay. just the Did one. The one was on the truck park, right? Um, I believe the first one as well. Yeah. So they're not parked on the roadway, correct? Right. Okay, we've got two. Nice second. When it came time for the final vote on this project, the mitigated negative deck was approved, the conditional use permit was approved, and the recommendation to the council to approve the site plan was adopted. But a couple of extra conditions were added to the usual and customary conditions of approval. Condition 13. The applicant and or operator shall work with the city to determine if some of the existing parking spaces could be made into RV or truck parking spaces and truck parking on Campbell Boulevard adjacent to the property shall be prohibited. This project should be going before the city council sometime in the near future. I'll post more information when it becomes available. Whether or not semi-truck parking will be included in this project likely depends on how much of a demand is made between now and when the city council makes its final decision.